Go. Okay, so rules of the game are pretty simple. We have 28 minutes to come up with 100 lies significant to the life of Elizabeth Marie Nostrand. Commonly known as Liz, commonly known as me. Oh, interesting. You see, when I tell a lie, that's one for the visiting team, the guests. And when a lie is told to me, that's one for the home team. So what did I? Oh, yes. I said commonly known as me, just to be clever. And I suppose that I'm not commonly known as me, except to myself. Right? The silence I... Anyway, back to the rules. Lies by me, points against me. Lies to me, points for me. Interesting twist, though. In order to fulfill the promise of the title of our play, 100 Lies, the two scores on the board must equal 100. My personal goal, however, given my mildly competitive nature, given my somewhat competitive nature, fine, given my highly competitive nature, my goal is to be certain that the two scores, while totaling 100, is lopsided in my favor, the home team. And speaking of the home team, just so you don't think I'll be working alone for this, let me introduce you to my amigos for this game. Come on out, team. Let's give a hand for the home team, yeah? <laughs> Hang on a second, gang. Just a little second. You <coughs> went against me a second ago when I introduced you guys as my amigos. That's Spanish for friends, if I'm not mistaken. I guess I'm not mistaken, I rarely am. Okay, cute. You guys are all my friends, right? Interesting. According to the scoreboard, five of you just lied to me. It's pretty odd, isn't it? What are you looking at me for, Liz? No reason, Bill. Anyway, no matter. Anyway. Not an issue we have to deal with at the moment. You guys can all go back off stage to get ready to do your thing. So I'm behind, nine to five. Maybe at this point you're thinking, she's gonna lose. Maybe you're thinking there's no way she can get to 100 points, 100 lies up there at this rate. Well, rest easy, we'll get cooking here just as soon as I finish with the introductions. And as far as me losing, I don't. 12 to 5. I like a challenge. Bring it on. One last thing, though. It's probably obvious by now. Not all lies of equal point value. They range from 1 to 3. A 1 point lie is a minor, a 2 point is a bit more hefty, and a 3 point is a whopper. Apparently, whoever's making the scoring determinations thought my claim that I don't lie was, in fact, a whopper. Fine. Not fine, then. <laughs> I disagree with that tally. But I will accept that judgment because I know that during the course of this play, I will be scoring a three-pointer or two in my favor. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, Elizabeth Marie Nostrand, have been lied to in big ways in my life, believe me, in ways that I would have never dreamt. But let's not start there. Let's start small. Let's start innocuous. Let's go with a few white lies that I've told. Here's where you get to see how me and my me Fellow cast members function. Here comes Mom with a bundled little me. Oh, look at you, Elizabeth. You are so beautiful. Gordon, Gordon, look! What is it? Did she stop breathing? No, no, no. <laughs> look at her. Isn't she the most beautiful baby in the world? She is. She's perfect. <laughs> now, granted, I was too young to know I was being lied to. But hey! Prevarication is a prevarication, is it not? 13 to 7, home team should be ahead shortly. Count on it. Uncle Stu? Have you been a good girl, Lizzie? Santa Claus won't be here this reindeer if you haven't. Now, Aunt Tilly? The great pumpkin will rise out of the pumpkin patch. Meet my grandmother. We'll leave this carrot over here so the Easter Bunny can have a snack, Elizabeth. Not that line of the sort was limited to relatives only. I had a clever babysitter named Robin. I heard the Tooth Fairy just isn't keeping up with the inflation these days. Good old Cousin Dale. I can always count on him to mislead me. Boo! Hey, you know what, Elizabeth? The boogeyman's gonna jump out of the bushes, drag you in a cave, and cut your leg off! <laughs> <laughs> 
even one of my favorite people in the whole entire world, Grampy Nostrand. We'd sit for hours and look out at the winter landscape, and he'd tell me any number of complete fabrications. Jack Frost comes, and he paints all these pretty designs on the window. Look at that, will you? Tied up in no time flat. Oh, now we're getting desperate. Ty's score in very little time, all of that. You really want me to take the lead? You want to see how easy it would be? Take any one of these aforementioned myth-based fabrications and just look at the whole string of lies that prop it up. Let's bring my gram back out. Oh, yes. I am sure the Easter Bunny will come out this year. But, Grandma, how does he know where we live? Oh, uh, the Easter Bunny uh, has a special egg. The crystal egg. Like a crystal ball? Exactly, just like a crystal ball. Does he take it with him on Easter Eve? Well, yes he does, honey. And it shows him where all the little children live. Ah, childhood, when the lies were lovely and went down as soft and sweet as a marshmallow chick. And then one day you wake up and the whole world has changed. The whole world. You see? 18 to 14, home team has a substantial lead. Too easy, frankly, I could continue in this vein and have 100 points on the old board before you could say Jack Robinson. Ever heard of figurative language? Apparently not a poet. As I was saying, I could get this whole gig over with very quickly if I kept on with a childhood mythological theme. But that wouldn't be much of a challenge, and as you remember back to my opening comments, I said that these lies would be significant to the life of Elizabeth Marie, etc., etc. And while lies about Kris Kringle and the existence of unicorns had some bearing on my development, they wouldn't warrant to hold 21 minutes, 6, 5, 4 more seconds. No, on to bigger lies. Liz, Jeremy, come here, please. Just a second. Kids, your mom that I need you in here right now. Just a second, I have to finish this. No, not just a second, now. Uh, hey guys, not yet, not this part. What's the deal? I thought we were gonna do this. Yeah, all right, but later. Well, Liz, you said we were moving on to bigger lies. I did, yes, but I don't think they're quite ready for this. I just, th there's such a thing as build, you know, you want to build to these things. Look, later, okay? Okay, it'll happen, just later. What was that for? I said later, it's gonna come later, there's no lie there. Well, technically... What do you mean, technically? You lied with your silence. You lied by not saying anything. You can't lie by not saying anything! What are you, in the scoreboard like buddies or something? You're one of the ones who lied about being my friend, aren't you? No. no. <laughs> well, thanks. You helped me tie it up at least. Look, Liz, what he's saying is, we could all tell you the real reason you're avoiding doing this scene right now. And when you conspicuously don't say the truth, it's a lie. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay out of this. Stacy, a little help here? I... Don't tell me you're in on the Amigo thing, too. No, Liz. Of course we're friends. <laughs> Thanks. But, I hate to say it, but... I'm, why don't you want to run the scene yet? Because I'm not ready, okay? I'm not ready. I just... I need to build to it. It's just not an easy thing. And so, help me God, if you dare to... So? So, we'll hit this a little later. When you're ready, that is, if you even want to do it. Of course I want to do it. It's big, it's big, it needs to be said. Or done, just... Later. That's fine. No problem. Liz, look. Don't worry about it. I get, did consider you my friend, it's just that lately you've been so angry, I can't... You know what? Don't sweat it, it doesn't even matter. We gotta keep moving right now, that's the thing. Okay, you're right. Okay. Geez, feels like therapy. We all know how fun that is. Okay, yeah, ding me for that. Okay, three points behind. Let's get the home team back out front here, shall we? Now again, I'm not going to claim that these lies are deeply significant, but they do matter. And there are different categories of subterfuges in the fairy tales we looked at earlier. Hey, Liz. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Good to see ya. You too. Gotta run. <laughs> Bye.
Good morning, Elizabeth. How are you? Uh, not too bad, I guess. Great. See you in class. I'll be there. You know what I'm talking about, right? The little lies we just say to be polite. To make a quick little connection so people don't think we're stuck up. I mean, somebody asks you, how are you? And even if your cat just died and you noticed a brain tumor sprouting out the back of your head, you say fine. I mean, they're lies, well, they're just... Well, Miss Barnesworth, last year in speech class, she called them social lubrication, which I thought sounded pretty nasty. <laughs> but you know what I mean, and those lies are pretty hard to avoid. I mean, if somebody tosses you one, you pretty much toss one back automatically. It's life. Now, another species of lie that is pretty closely related to the sort of politeness category is, for the lack of a better name, smart lie. Liz, I just got these shoes. What do you think of them? Now here, I have to tell a smart lie. The truth is, I think the shoes make her feet look like twin submarines. <laughs> what did I say about poetry, huh? <sighs> the truth is, I think the shoes do not complement her outfit and are quite unattractive. But I also happen to know that I can't say that to Marge, she'll probably jump off of the, um, be quite disappointed. So instead, I say, wow, Marge, those are amazing shoes. You don't think they make my feet look like twin submarines or something? No, not at all. I want a pair. Thanks, Liz. You're the best. <laughs> you know, I could be the best. Not to say that I'm the only one who tells a smart lie. I've had plenty of them told to me as well. Liz, you did a great job out there. I think you're definitely going to be a better soccer player. I miss the ball every time. But you're learning how to position yourself better. And some of those shots you took just barely missed. That was my junior league soccer coach and that was a series of smart lies he was telling me. I mean, what else could he do with all the parents waiting for him to compliment their kids? With me only five years old, what was he gonna do, tell the truth? Gee Liz, you really stunk out there. You seem to have no skills whatsoever and furthermore, I doubt you're ever gonna master the game. That might have been the truth, but it would have been the dumb truth. By the way, I did eventually master the game. Okay, so I'm not top pick to play in the World Cup, but I was MVP and captain last year. You see, a thing that I think I've always been aware of at even a young age was what I was being lied to. Most of the time. A lot of the time. At a particular point in time, I knew the coach was lying to me. I knew I wasn't a good soccer player, but that's just always made me work harder, see? That's how my competitive nature has served me. My theory, you see, about competitive people is that they know themselves. Some people believe it when they're being buttered up or even when they're buttering themselves up. But competitors, they work hard because they know the truth about themselves. I think that's my greatest strength. I may tell a lie now and then, as we've seen, but I think that I'm honest with myself. Three? Who the hell are you? That's what I want to know. Who's behind this thing? Who gives this contraption the authority to make jokes about me? Everybody, everybody get out here. What's wrong, Liz? Before we go any further with this show, this game, this gig, whatever it is, I think we need to establish who's behind the scoreboard. Behind it? Yeah, who's deciding on the points? Who's calling things lies? I don't know. Well, who does? Liz, none of us know. I guess I thought you did. It's your thing. My thing? It's about you. Well, I'm certainly not controlling that thing. Uh, none of us is either, Liz. Guess it's just part of the game. I think that stinks. Um, Liz? What? We only have a combined score of 63, and time's running out, so if you don't keep... Okay, me... okay. I get your point. I just wish... I do know myself better than the average person, I think. Liz, like Sue said, we should probably- What do you think? About what? Do you think I'm fooling myself? I don't know. I mean, how can I answer that? Truthfully, the scoreboard up there claimed it was a three-pointer against me when I said that I'm honest with myself. Do you agree or disagree? I don't want to answer. Why not? Because you've been pretty touchy lately. Touchy? Yeah, touchy. What is that supposed to mean? Touchy, sensitive, and I think you're demonstrating it right now. Liz, are you sure we have time for this? Do you agree with that? Well, sort of. Okay, yes, I agree with her. 
I've been touching. Yes? I can't believe this. Liz, yes, you have been pretty sensitive lately. But you know what? Nobody's blaming you. It's justified. So why don't you show them why? Oh, uh, not yet. You sure? Yeah, we'll get there, just not right now. Uh, so, um, smart lies. That's what we were talking about. Lies that you have to tell other people or other people tell you because it would be too harsh to tell the truth. Okay, let's look at a couple more examples of that. I mean, just like the Santa Claus thing, this category could get us to a hundred nothing flat. We don't know who's behind it, but we know he's a literalist. Anyway, when I was seven, I wrote this outrageously bad poem. And I read it to my teacher, Miss Blodgett. It ended like this. And when the winter sky is cold, we have to dress warm and do what we're told. Well, Liz, that was wonderful. What's the deal? That was a lie. You can't tell me that wasn't. Oh, yes. The poem was horrendous. What's the matter with you? Hey! Hit me with another one. Uh, your rhyming was very unique, I thought. The rhyming stunk. It was predictable and boring. Some of the worst I've ever heard. I thought Liz might have a mild disability. Actually, I really did. I mean, the poem was stupid, even for a first grader. <laughs> okay. You've made your point. What's the matter with you now? My toes are gangrenous and about to fall off. They are? No, I'm just testing the system here. Oh, good idea. I'll help. I like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lie? Yes, sorry. What's the matter with my hair? Nothing. Oops. <laughs> See, that was a lie too, and it didn't register. I think it's broken. The time's still going though. At some future point, I'm going to want to talk to you about this hair thing. I have some ideas for improvement. Whatever. Folks, apparently we're not going to be able to finish our presentation here because whoever's running the scoreboard has gone home or fallen asleep or something. It's back! Well, somebody woke up. Okay, so you weren't asleep, but you weren't registering lies either. Let's see if you're back on the job. My father's name is Xavier. Is that a family name? His name's not Xavier, that's the point. Oh, you're still testing. I wonder why I didn't put anything up there. My cat is actually a werewolf. The world is flat. My math teacher makes a mean linguine. I dated Orlando Bloom. What's the matter with you now? You want me to lose, that's it? You've frozen the score so we can't possibly win. We can't possibly finish. Then what? Uh, Liz? What? A few of us have been talking backstage. We think we might figure out a pattern. What pattern? Well, I mean, we trust your judgment and everything. Sorry. No, no. Keep lying to me. Tell me you think I'm doing great out here. Tell me you have high hopes for my future. Hell, tell me you think I am easy to get along with and you love nothing better than to hang out with me every waking second. It's racking up the points. Doesn't matter to me. Shut up. Liz, here's what we figured. In the beginning, in your introduction, you said you were going to feel 100 lies significant to the life of Elizabeth Marie Nostrand. Yeah, so? Well, most of them haven't been all that significant to your life, have they? I mean, the tooth fairy, the hi, how are you bits. Do those really matter? They matter. Okay, so no, not so much. But the great god scoreboard was recording them up until now. Well, yeah, that was fine for getting into the topic and showing how our lives are generally full of little fibs and things. But now, maybe you need to stop with the petty stuff. No, that's not it. All right, great, good call. I think we'll get significant now. You guys can go back off stage. Except you, Josh. I want you to do the preacher thing. Oh, oh, yeah, just let me go wear my cash piece my bubble. Be, be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am behind, due in part to an unannounced change in the rules. Mid-game. So be it. I'm about to catch up very quickly. Josh will be appearing in a moment spouting a few lies that I think will be right up there in the three-point category. Don't you worry. This I probably should have presented back in the myth section, right around the great pumpkin part. Go for it, preacher man. These are the days of doubt and questioning. These are the days when our confidence in the things of the world can override our confidence in the things of the heavens. But I am here to tell you. I am here to testify to you. God is real! There you go, right there. Three points for the home team. 
Hey! God is real and he knows each one of us individually. Three more! Three more should be up there for that, Walter. Stray as we might from the path of righteousness, worship as we might the else prestige and power and money, trust as we might in the arm of man, God will never desert us. I want some points on the board. Those lies were told to me week after week when I sat in church. I was lied to. God is not real. He's never been there for me. I should have at least nine more points on the board. I demand them. Whenever you may feel that. Oh, can it? Whoop. Forget it, I said. We've obviously got some kind of religious born-again freak running the scoreboard. Sorry. It's not your fault. You didn't want lies unless they were significant, right? Okay, I went along with it. But if you can't face up to the truly important lies that have been told, the ones that have really made a difference, uh, Liz? I know, time's still running. I know we have 25 more points to go, but I'm losing, damn it, and the scoreboard isn't playing fair. It's not that. We just, we had an observation. What now? The board isn't pro God. Oh, really? No. Because when you said, God is not real, he's never been there for me, it's not registering points for the opposing team, because it's not saying that you're lying. Well, I guess it didn't, did it? All right, so what are we supposed to make of that? I'm guessing that Elias got to have proof one way or another, and when it comes to God, well, that's sort of beyond the realm of proof. Beyond the realm, huh? No proof? I'll give you proof my life is proof that God doesn't watch over us. What? How is that a lie? I know there's no loving God up there watching over me and my family. I'll tell you that for damn sure. What is that? What is that? Are you still claiming this guy's a pro God? You saw that. Technically, the points for the lies came after the claims about yourself, Liz. What are you talking about? The scoreboard is saying that your pronouncement that you know God doesn't exist is a lie. A big one. Pro God, that's what I said. No, it's saying you don't know what you claim to know. It's not saying God exists or doesn't exist. It's saying you believe in God. You know, it's not necessarily easy for us to our own minds. About things. I mean, I wonder if we all had a hope that- Let's do it. What? Bring out my mother and father. Have Jeremy write what's brought in the scene. Are, are you sure? You seem a little- No, no. Now is time. Now is just the time. Time for my comeback. Liz, Jeremy, come here, please. Just a second. Kids, your mother and I need you in here right now. Hang on, stop. Liz, look at the time. I know, I know. I just, I want to set this up a little better. They need to see a couple preliminary lives before we unveil the big ones. How about this? How about this? Let's do the wedding scene. Mom and Dad get married. <laughs> do you take each other in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, for better or for worse, till death do you part? We do. Put some points on there. Come on, that was a vow they took a vow before the state of New Hampshire, and guess who? For God. That's big, Mr. Scoreboard, big. Uh, but Liz, it wasn't a lie to you, though. Oh, wasn't it? Don't I come from the union of these two? Don't I come under that umbrella of that sacred promise? Huh? Don't I? Yes, that's right. Thank you for seeing my point. Now this next one? This one's clear cut. This one I will not have to argue for. Dear old mama and me. Oh, about 11 years back. Mom? Yes, Liz? Joanna said her parents are splitting up. Oh, really? That's terrible. Joanna has to move to Alabama. I'm sorry, sweetheart. You have lots of fun with her, don't you? Why are her parents splitting up? Well, I don't know. I don't really know them. When is Joanna moving? In a month. Oh, we'll have to get the two of you together again soon. Are you and Daddy ever going to split up? No, Elizabeth. You don't have to worry about that. We'll always be together as a family. Wasn't that sweet? One great, great, fat, precious, fat lie. Now I bet you know what's coming next, don't you? Without further ado, let's run the scene we've been hinting at for a good 24 minutes now. Guaranteed to bring a smile to your face and a skip to your step. Kids, your mother and I need you in here right now. Just a second, I have to finish this. No, not just a second, now! You didn't have to yell at him like that. He needs to listen. Like you've been around to teach him. 
Mom, where are the batteries you just got? I need some. You've probably already used them all up. Shut up, Liz. I did not. What did you do? Eat them? Jeremy, Liz, please. I wasn't talking to you, Liz. Why do you always have to butt in? Why do you always have to be- Hey! Both of you, shut up. What are you doing? I'm getting our kids to be quiet so we can talk to them. <laughs> Since when did it become all right for you to speak to them like that? Liz, Jeremy, your mother and I have something very important to tell you. We've decided... Children, we need you to know that we would never hurt you. And away we go. What's this about? I'm gonna be moving out for a while. For a while? Cute euphemism for forever. Moving out? Why? Your father and I have been having some difficulties lately relating to each other. Understatement. And we feel it might be best if we got some distance. You're getting a divorce. No, they're not! You're not, are you? No, no, that's not what we're saying. I'm on a comeback trail now. Now, now, son. Jeremy, it's gonna be all right. That would have been another three-pointer if you'd said it to me. Jeremy. I don't want that, I believe! Hold on, let's stay here! We can't need you to stay here! Just under two minutes to go, folks, and the home team is behind by one point. Will they do it? Jeremy, I'm not moving far. I'll still see you. Yeah? Every other weekend and during school breaks. Liz, we have not even to begun to discuss those types of arrangements yet. It's a tie game! Why can't you just stay together? This is a real pressure cooker, folks. Oh, hit from behind by a hairless metaphor. Whatever will the home team do? Time is running out. Liz, Jeremy, listen, please. I know this is hard for you. It's hard for all of us. In the final seconds, it looks like a scoring opportunity for the home team might just be opening up. But I think, in the long run, this will be best for all of us. The words are out of his mouth. Are they a lie? Yes, a three-pointer. Elizabeth Marie knows trying to merge is victorious once again. Bet you thought I wasn't going to make it, huh? Right down to the wire. Liz? Liz? Yeah? I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your parents. I won. Did you see that? I won. OK. Did you see that I won after all? I had my doubts, I have to admit, but I had a feeling the final scene was going to do it. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, sure. I won. I'm just doing great. What? Oh, you said you're doing great, and you looked at the scoreboard. Did you think it was going to register a lie against you? No, I mean, game's over, right? I was just... Double checking the final score. Mm-hmm. Hey. What? Those five points you got early on, the Amigo thing? What about it? Ten of us didn't lie to you, including me. That's a lot of friends. We're sure. here. In case sometime you don't win. The world is flat. The moon is made of cheese. Santa Claus ate all the sugar cookies I left him every Christmas Eve. I'm no good. The divorce was my fault. I don't need anybody.